Hi everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where tonight we're here at the Dubai Hills Mall to come and ride the Storm Coaster. So this coaster opened back in 2022 and it is manufactured by Intamin, my favourite. <laughs> oh, we love Intamin. They are our favourite manufacturer. So we're really pumped to get on this. It's only a couple of years old and I'm really excited for it because it's actually got the fastest vertical launch on any roller coaster out there. Just under 48 miles an hour is the top speed of this. There's two inversions and it's built in this 50 metre tall building that you can see just behind us. I mean, I've heard a lot of things about this the past couple of years. I can't wait to experience it. I cannot wait to get on that vertical launch and see how it feels. Oh, it's going to be great, I'm sure. But yeah, the building is fascinating. You've got the massive sign. We've come down here just as the sun's going down as well. So our plan is to have a little look at it in the daytime. But I have heard that riding it at night is better. So we're waiting for that sun to go down and we'll see like all the lighting that they've got. And yeah, it's a full package uh, kind of experience that there is. It's got a pre-show and everything, this. Uh, so come and join us as we head into the mall and go and check it out. Worth pointing out, this is another one that's got loads of free parking. The size of these shopping malls, it's crazy, isn't it? They're on such a huge scale and there's just so many shops to enjoy. And a lot of them have got amusement parks and roller coasters too, which is right up our street. Let's go and have a look. Oh, look at that sky. I am loving this weather that we're having this trip. It's perfect. And yeah, here's a look at the building for the Storm Coaster. It's a very impressive structure. And the fact this was built only a couple of years ago, along with the rest of the mall, is very new, very modern around here. And yeah, it's a really good space. And yeah, this building, of course, was custom built for the roller coaster. You know, it wasn't existing before. It's been built specially to have this coaster. And yeah, another one that's indoors, mainly because of the temperatures. At the moment, it will be okay if it was outside, because it's like 25 degrees Celsius. But in the summer, if it was outdoors, it would probably never operate. So yeah, it's really nice how um, it's all indoors. And also you've got to think as well, with it featuring LSMs, uh, I doubt they'd be able to operate in like 45 degree heat that they uh, often get here in the summer. But yeah, the design of the building's great. You've got all the glass panels, all the lights, and we'll come back out and see it at night actually too. I wanted to kind of show you it in the daytime and during golden hour and also as well at night. But yeah, the logo is huge up there and yeah, you can just see the track on the inside. Not seen it going around from here yet. And it's one of them things, you know, it's quite expensive. I'll go through the prices in just a moment. And that's the thing with all of these kind of mall parks and uh, parks here in general in the UAE, they are very expensive. But you can just make out the vertical launch and that's gonna take us right up to the top of this 50 meter tall building. Oh, well, before we go inside, we did just see the train was loading up through the window, so there it goes. Wow. All the vertical launch right up to the top and yeah, we'll just see how much we can see through the window just here, this coaster going round. There's some of the high up track sections. There it goes. Yeah, we're talking just under 2,200 feet of track designed by Intamin with their nice trains and lap bars on here, LSM coaster, wow. Okay, it soon gets down to the bottom there, doesn't it? And then it kind of goes back up again, I see. Really clever how this has been designed. Look at that drop just there. Oh, I'm really excited for this. So we just made our way into the mall. Yeah, nice and easy to find it. The Storm Coaster, and yeah, there's actually signs that just say roller coaster all the way around the mall. So yeah, you can easily find it. I mean, look at the logo. That is brilliant to see. Really liking the design and branding for it. And you've got some pictures up on the wall over there too. There is a test seat just down here. Nice to see they've got one of those. I'll tell you what, Intamin, they do some amazing creations, don't they? There we go, Charlotte, you getting in? Yeah. Into the test seat. Ah, oh, fantastic. Don't you just love this design of into it now? Yeah. Oh, you're good to go. Let's just have a look at that actually. Push it to where the light, uh, we lift it up a bit and there we go. We can see, oh yeah, so it's pretty roomy. That's yeah. the good thing with these newer Intamin rides. Every roller coaster that's built, in my opinion, should have a test seat like this though, with a little light on. Oh, I think it's great, you know, that they've got that here. Wow. And yeah, I believe if we got these stairs, we'll get a view looking out at the coaster. So yeah, let's go and have a little look. Oh, I like how they've got the Guinness World Record on display just here, commemorating the title for the fastest vertical launch roller coaster over in February 2022. Okay, let's go and have a look upstairs. So yeah, they've actually got an arcade in here and the big glass windows. <laughs> look at this, sun's going down. Wow. 
This is very impressive. And let's look at the station. And oh wait, there's nobody there. Like, I find it crazy. Like, they've got these multi-million pound rides. A lot of the time they're just sat there. And again, we've got four members of staff just down there. This looks good with all the lighting though. We'll wait around and we'll get some off-ride shots and then we'll head down and talk about the pricing for this one and also get on it. And yeah, we'll get some shots at night of the storm coaster in action as well. Here's a look at the prices for the Storm Coaster, and yeah, it is not cheap. I'm sure you're getting the gist of it by now with these mall parts, they are very expensive. However, I'm really excited to ride this. So yeah, for a single person for one entry, it's 65 dirhams. And yeah, that's around 14 pounds. And then it's around 18 pounds for a single person to ride once on the front seat. Very expensive. <laughs> Crazy. And then down here, you've actually got a few deals that you can do. Obviously, you want a few rides on this. You know, come all the way out here. I want to experience this a few times. So yeah, we've gone for uh, the three-person entry. And uh, yeah, with that, you get three rides. And uh, yeah, one of those is a front row so yeah the prices are very very expensive for this i've got to say it's really cool in here with all the lighting and the music it's kind of giving me like tron vibes from disney in here yeah, like very futuristic. I'm so excited. and the music as well which is great oh i'm loving it so we just bought our tickets i'm just gonna have them checked here and make our way down into the pre-show yeah high restriction of 1.3 for this max height of 1.95 fantastic news is the management down here have actually allowed us to take you on using our chest mounted GoPro. It wouldn't normally be allowed, however they've been very kind to let us take it on, which is going to be great. So we can take you along for the experience. Wasn't expecting that, so yeah that's going to be really special. Oh I'm really excited, this is one of my most anticipated rides of the trip. And the fact we're going to be able to take you along for the experience is even better. Are you looking forward to it Charlotte? So excited. A storm coaster, there's a storm of brewing. So futuristic. Look at all this. Doors closing. <laughs> this is Control Patching It. Welcome to the Sky Deck. Our eyes over Dubai. Now let's not waste any more time. Iris, take us to the top. System departing. You are now ascending 1,500 feet above the Dubai skyline. This platform was built to give us a visual range of over 400 miles and detect even the smallest of storms. There's a storm coming. We see it first. Arriving at Skydeck. Would you look at that? What a view. You are in luck. A small microstorm was just detected in Sector 5. Warning. Storm classification upgraded to level, level four. Level four, that's a tornado. That can't be right. Affirmative control, impact imminent. Isn't she beautiful? What? Warning, updated storm trajectory. Uh, that can't be true. That thing is headed right towards us. Affirmative, storm impact in 15 seconds. I restore the sky deck. Negative control. There is no time. Initializing Skydeck safety protocol. Defense units active. Can't override Iris. You're gonna have to ride this one out. Hold on tight. Warning. Mechanical failure. You're in the eye of the storm. 
on. This isn't over yet. Brace yourselves. Oh, this is cool. It's like a moving platform. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Okay. Now we can't lose track. Because what is this? We're going to get you down to the loading bay. And onto the storm jets. We're going to launch you into the eye of the storm. Oh, I love the storylines. Let's go. Into the station. Oh, that is brilliant. There we go. Wow, look at this in here. Oh, this is so cool with the lighting. Lockers over here? But don't worry, we can take you on. Wow. And here we are down at the front row. That pre show was amazing to start the experience. And a look up at the coaster just here. I'm really pumped for this. Look at the train as well. Just the whole kind of storyline and build up for it. It's expensive, but you know what? At least you are getting more than just the coaster ride. It's a full experience. And here we go. Stepping onto the storm. Down now. 
on the back row. I cannot wait to experience this again and just see how different it is down the back. Oh, oh, oh. we go. Wow. Whoa. That is like a feeling I've never had in a coaster before. Whoa. Wow, look at this. Sun going down. Perfect timing for this ride. And to take you all on. Slowing down, so let's go! Whoa! Wow, wow, into one of those two immersions! Oh. That is brilliant! Woo! Ride the storm, that was fantastic! Look at it up there! Oh, amazing coaster. I really enjoyed that. Intamin build, some of the best coasts in the world. They really do. Amazing. Woo! Wow. Right then, a back row ride on Storm Coaster. I tell you what, it's a brilliant experience. Intamin do some amazing rides, they really do. They create some of the best coasters anywhere out there. And yeah, great to finally get on this. I've been itching to ride it ever since I first saw the construction. So to come down here and have them lovely sunset rides as well was perfect. In terms of the experience down there at the back compared to the front, quite different actually. You do feel some more of the whip around the different elements, um, especially going through them kind of sideways transitions and drops. You do, of course, feel the trim brake still down there at the back which does take away a little bit from the ride however I can see why they've added it in there um, because if it went too quick throughout all the elements it'd just be over like that you know there'd be no kind of anticipation to the elements so I can see why they're designed on there uh, in terms of the intensity of the ride it's not quite as whippy and intense as I was hoping for however the launch has definitely exceeded expectations for me that vertical launch is incredible and it makes me very excited to see what Intamin are going to do with that sort of technology in the future. I mean, Intamin have always really been the king of launches, haven't they? Ever since the days of the old school kind of hydraulic launches as they are now. Go back 15 years, they were like the, the top technology. Now look at what they're doing, these LSM vertical launches. And uh, yeah, that is brilliant. I mean, we love that element, don't we, Charlotte? Oh, the launch was fantastic. Never doing one of them before. It was so good. <laughs> Can't wait to see what they do with that in the future. In terms of the rest of the coaster, I'd say it rides more family thrill, still leaning towards the thrill side than full family, but yeah, don't go on there expecting to be kind of shaped around. It doesn't ride like the Intamin Blitz coasters, you know, like Taron, for example, where you're getting them proper whips to the side. Um, you know, for me, it, it's not quite as intense as I would have liked, but not every coaster needs to be intense. That's just my preference on what I enjoy. It's very smooth, it's very comfortable. I love the elements on there. The two inversions that they've got are great, and uh, it's the building that makes it. If that was on the outside, it'd be impressive, and you still get the force of the launch, um, but you wouldn't get the scale and overall kind of, just the building really makes it with the lighting and seeing the sun going down whilst we were on there uh, was fantastic, it really was. I'm just going to put in another POV for you now from the road just in front of the back where you can see a little bit more of the experience there towards the rear of the train on the Storm Coaster. another POV down there at the back of the Storm Coaster and this time one row forward from the very back row and it's just coming around again look at the lighting it's going to be heading up that vertical launch wow I love how all the lighting is in sync and yeah it really does look the part so I'm glad we came down when we did 
to see it in the daytime but also at night. What a cool structure, it really is. 50 meters tall and yeah, you can hear it rumbling away on the inside and that's the thing, this will age really nicely and probably this coast will get better over time. I was saying how it doesn't really have loads of force to it at the moment, um, you know, over a period of time. I would imagine this is just going to keep getting better and better. What a great ride. It's got a good length to it as well. And you just don't know where you are in the layout, you know, because you get in this big circular building, you just don't have a clue where you are. Oh, what a great experience. And yeah, really big thank you to the team down here at the Storm Coaster for allowing us to film. Like I say, uh, it wasn't a, a, an easy feat, you know, we spoke with them down there and at first he was like, no, we don't allow it. Then he was really kind of managed to speak with someone higher up and because it wasn't for like, um, you know, commercial TV shooting and that sort of thing, and um, just for YouTube, um, they allowed it, which we really do appreciate, don't we, Charlotte? We really do, it was so kind, so thank you so much. We'd have been able to take our review and get off-ride footage, but it would have been hard to have really captured it with, with off-ride, wouldn't it, it really? To, to see the full perspective when we take you on ride with us yeah and we always try our best of course with all the parks we do our best and yeah that's the thing you know there's some parks out here that will allow filming but you have to go through all sorts of forms and filling loads out it's one of the strictest countries when it comes to on ride filming so i'm just pleasantly surprised that we managed to get that permission there in the end it's always makes it but that's what makes me really happy you know me i always try my best to get you on ride filming i really do and i know sometimes it can be disappointing when we can't take you on the rides but uh, trust me we do our best Best, but also we uh, you know travel a long way we want to be able to enjoy the experience without filling out loads of forms and being escorted around a park as well but that was really nice and easy down here um, after we kind of had that permission he got his approval and we could take you all on the storm coaster oh it's just so mesmerizing to watch as well i could stand out here all night just looking at it behind what an amazing building oh i'm glad you've enjoyed it as well charlotte oh, i enjoyed it so much but like sean said i didn't find it intense whatsoever which you like don't you really <laughs> yeah which is great for me <laughs> it's gonna age good though that one i look forward to coming and riding it in many years time i think the only negative is the price it is very expensive and yeah i'm not a huge fan of the fact they charge extra to ride down the front and it's not like it's even like a pound extra yeah it's a good few pounds extra to ride the front it's a bit cheeky that isn't it really it is cheeky the only good thing about it is you are getting the experience you are getting the pre-show it's not just like you're going straight on and getting on the coaster so at least that's one thing yeah and it's things like the music the fact that all the staff are wearing the theme costumes you feel like you're part of something you know and that's what i really like instead of just going to a mall park and it kind of being a bit awkward you know i feel like even if you were the only ones here they give you a good experience down here you know they're going to give you the full show it's like the lady was great who checked the tickets you know she was like yeah we're going to put you in this pre-show that's going to start your experience i like the fact all the staff have been trained but that is how you ride it you know you get this full package this full experience and uh, yeah that is really what it's all about so yes it is expensive however there's quite a few people riding it it's been going round tonight and then that's the thing we've noticed with the parks they get busier on an evening don't they people like to come out on an evening and enjoy it as the lights are going down yeah and this is open until midnight again <laughs> that seems to be the close for a lot of these attractions and yeah it seems like more people are coming down here to the dubai hills mall to experience it at night uh, well there we go thanks for joining us on the channel another action packed video and of course we've got so much more coming up from our trip here on theme park worldwide and also over on the sandbrook adventures so happy we could take you on with the povs brilliant that was uh, but there we go that leaves me with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding see you in the next vlog